so today's look is a little bit colorful, a little bit sparkly. I've got a little glitter going on here in the inner corner. I just wanted to do something fun. I've been doing a lot of warm tones <laughs> and some natural looks, so I wanted to do something with color. And I decided to bust out some of my Makeup Geek matte eyeshadows that recently came out. And so primarily everything on the eye except for like the glitter and um, the liner that I use to tight line is all Makeup Geek. So I like this look. I had some difficulties blending one of the shades that I use in the crease. It's part of the new matte so um, I had to work with that color a little bit. But it's, it actually came out pretty good. I like it. And it's a little bit dramatic. I skipped the false eyelashes but you could definitely take this up a notch or two and add some false eyelashes if that's what you're into. I just didn't feel like doing it today. I was planning on it but I said screw it, I'm just not going to mess with it. So I hope that you guys like this look. I do and I think it's just fun to play around with some different colors from time to time. So let me know in the comment section how you guys like this look and let's just get into the tutorial. To start this look off I'm going to take the color called Mirage which is a matte buttercream yellow color. And I'm going to be applying that to the lid with a Sigma E25 brush. For the crease, I'm going to go in with the Bedrock eyeshadow. This is part of the newer matte line that she recently released. And this is a very cool tone gray color. And I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush. This is from one of the Sonia Kashuk sets that came out over the holidays. But any fluffy crease brush will do the job. Alright, so to blend out the outer edges of the Bedrock shadow, I'm going to take the original color that I applied first, which is Mirage, and a fluffy crease brush that's a little bit more tapered, not as full as the one that I used to apply it. I'm going to take just a little bit of that and go around the edges to start softening out those lines. And I do have to admit that this Bedrock shadow is a little bit on the difficult side to work with and to blend. It's a nice shade, but it is very hard. <laughs> now to get a little bit more precise color, I'm going to switch to a Zoeva Petite Crease. This is the 231 brush with the same Bedrock eyeshadow. And I'm going to start defining this crease just a little bit more. This is going to be our main crease color, so I want it to be um, a little bit more intense. And I'm also going to bring it in just slightly into this inner part as well. Now to help blend this a little bit I'm going to take Barcelona Beach is another matte shadow and the 228 crease brush by Zoeva. This is the Lux crease. And I'm also going to just use the very tip of that brush to blend out this color just a little bit. And I'm going to come up just a little bit higher than where I placed it just to kind of again pull it up and soften those lines. And then for the lid, I'm going to use that Mirage color with a flat definer brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk number 106. And I'm just going to kind of pack this onto my lid. And if you came a little too low with that color, when you do this step, it will sort of fix those lines. So it doesn't look like the color is coming too much onto your lid. And then I'm also going to take some of that and sort of come under the brow as well. Again, trying to clean up any harsh lines. Now moving on to the lower lash line, the first thing that I'm going to do, or the first color I'm going to use, 
is called Enchanted Forest. It's a very deep forest green. Again, it's matte. And I'm going to use a flat definer brush to smudge this into the root of my lash. And it's going to be pretty, pretty thick and kind of harsh looking, but we'll blend it out as we go. So just take a little bit of that color onto the tip of your brush and then just kind of start kind of stamping and wiggling right there at the root of the lash. And get it as close as you can to the waterline without actually getting it into your eye. Okay, so I know it looks pretty harsh. I told you that it would be. So I'm going to switch to a pencil brush at this point to help blend that line out. I'm going to be using the Mikasa Beauty E310 brush. And I'm going to take the point of that. And I have a separate mirror to look at so that I could see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to just come in and kind of soften out and smoke out that line. The next shade is that pop of color. This is called Dragonfly. This is also a newer release with the matte collection that came out not that long ago. And I'm going to take an actual brow line brush. This is a 322 by Zoeva. And I'm going to use that to apply that all the way underneath the uh, Enchanted Forest, that dark green color. So I'm going to start from this inner part and go lightly here. And then I'm just going to go right under this green. And then if you feel like you have any sort of fallout, you can just take a brush, because I've already done my concealer, and clean up anything, but I don't have too much fallout here. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the liner on the upper lash line, and for this step, I'm using an eyeshadow, and I chose to do a shadow just because I just wanted it to be a little softer, even though this is a very intense black. Um, from a distance, you can't really tell because it's so pigmented, and the color I'm talking about is this Corrupt shade, and this is also by Makeup Geek, and it's one of the blackest blacks that I own. It's very intense, so be careful, because the fallout can be a little bit tricky to kind of remove if you've done your concealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a liner brush. This is the Morphe M160, the 116th of an inch. And I'm going to take some of that black eyeshadow and I'm going to tap off the excess onto a napkin because I don't want any fallout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sort of stamping this color right in my um, the root of my lash and lash line. And then what I'm going to do is kind of come up a little bit to create a little flick. Now when it comes to this inner part, what you want to do is sort of do light strokes to kind of taper that shadow right into the root of the lash. I didn't want it to be very thick on this inner part. So just lightly do that and it will definitely help blend the line in. Now for this next step with the wing, I'm going to switch to an even smaller brush. This one right here is from Delium Tools. This is the 760 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that black shadow and I'm going to create that sharp line for my wing and then bring it back and connect it with everything else, but I like this tiny brush to get that sharp line. And I'm going to go back in with that initial brush that I used to um, fill in any little gaps. Alright, so to finish the look, I decided to add a little bit of glitter, and this was kind of last minute decision, but I'm glad I did it. And I'm using the Crystal Hip Glitter from NYX, so it's the lightest it's kind of like a clear base, but it's got a bunch of like iridescent -y sort of rainbow colors. I'm just going to apply just a little bit of that right in this inner tear duct just to add a little something special there. Totally optional, by the way. You don't have to do it. You can just stop at this point if you don't want glitter or don't like glitter.
And there you go. So all you have to do now is finish the look by applying your favorite mascara. All right, so now that the eyes are complete, the face I already did off camera, um, my foundation, blush, bronzer, contour, all of that will be listed in the description box. So expand that because I always list everything that I used in my tutorials. And I hope that you guys liked it. I enjoyed it. It was fun to do. And um, yeah, I think my camera was kind of doing a little bit of weirdness going on because it got really gloomy during the tutorial portion. The sun is trying to come out from the clouds. So if it's a little off, I apologize. I'll try to make it better for the next video. Please also subscribe if you haven't. Please join my family here on YouTube. You guys are everything to me and I appreciate your love and support. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.